How you guys doing? It's me, G Man. Welcome back to the channel. We're back again. More Rush, guys. Today's exciting because we are looking at the top free to play deck in the game. And while I was sitting here trying to put some decks together, I realized I have no idea what the best free to play deck is. So I need your guys' help. Comment down below what is the best free to play deck. We're going to try and build something, put something together and see if we can get a win as a free-to-play player. All right, guys, so while building the deck, like I didn't, yo, it's, if you take out all of these guys down here and you're just left with something like this, <laughs> it's a struggle, it's a struggle. So first I tried, Engineer, I can't do engineer with it without certain cards. So he's out of the question. Uh, tried back the old school Crystal Mancer deck. Garbage, can't win. Uh, so I'm like, okay, let's try something else. Let's try um, something that we haven't tried before. So let me put, so I, this is the deck that I'm gonna use for sure. I want the double stun, but it's like I think I gotta lose the double stun. Because I think I gotta I wanna put um I wanna put Rogue in here as a damage dealer, but I wanna keep catapult and bomb. I think I'm gonna have to lose cold mage, but I can't lose cold mage at the same time. Like there isn't enough space. Um I think catapult is gonna prove more useful this week, especially because of the faction blessing. But overall, I think Bomb is gonna be a better choice. Uh, we're gonna try, so we're gonna try this, we're gonna try this. Pure free to play, no legendaries. And this is the worst case there. Of course, some of you guys have one, two legendaries. You get legendaries as a free to play player, but man, if you just have the most unusable garbage legendaries, we're gonna be looking at a free to play. Like, you also, yo, certain legendaries should also be considered free to play, like Frost, Boris, those guys are free to play legendaries. Yep. They're not. That guys, I'm not changing it. Actually, I will change the hero. Yo, look at this. We finally, yo, we're stepping up right now. We're stepping up. <laughs> now let's change our hero, cause Snowflake. Uh, we're just gonna stick stick with the top four heroes, okay? We're gonna stick with the top four heroes. If you don't have a max trainer by now, stop playing the game. Just I'm gonna tell you that right now. Even if you're a free to play player, stop playing. Delete the game really quick. Yo, emojis. Do we have a... Yo, comment down below. We'll do an emojis tier list. I think that would be pretty epic. This is the deck, guys. We're going in on competitive ladder. You know, G-Man. I do these things for, like, content. Oh, Blade Dancer. I didn't expect anything else. Now, how are we going to win? Let's see if we can think of something here. Let's see if we can kind of strategize. And make sure you guys comment because free-to-play players are struggling because, yo... Honestly, a free-to-play deck is pretty hard to put together. And let me know down below what kind of free-to-play cards... I mean, what kind of cards is easy for you guys to get as free-to-play? Like, all your free-to-play friends have this legendary. What legendary is it? Because there has to be one. All right, we're spamming. We're spamming. Now, we got Cold Mage. We got Bomb. Of course, um, Hunter, Sharpshooter, those guys are going to be somewhat key to our victory here. So let's go, especially Sharpshooter. I mean, um, Sharpshooter and Hunter. But Hunter, I think, is gonna be really, really helping us out. And remember, guys, I said, don't save no talents for no legendaries. Like, if you're free to play, you make sure you're using these talents on these guys. Trust me when I say that. I'm gonna go for a tier three. Trying to boost up the Sharpshooter, but no dry. You probably wanna go put a Priestess, maybe. I don't even know how I feel about rocking a priestess in here. Like, oh my gosh. Guys, tomorrow we're also starting a free-to-play account. <laughs> well, free-to-play account. We're not going to put a cent in. I need to see what you can actually get as a free-to-play player if you're playing serious, trying to progress. So we're going to be doing that. Uh, I'll drop my player ID in the comment section so you guys can add me on there. Let's see. Okay, this. Now, my only thing... He's rocking a trickster. 
I think we got trick. I think I have trickster beads. I think. I'd, lo I'd love to think so. Now, let me do something like that. Boom. Something like that. Okay, let's go. Let's see. We also got bombs, so it's like. Nobody got went up in the world, man. Yo, it's Hunter's gonna be a tough pick because you're gonna wanna. You're really gonna wanna stumble into those that tier three hunter. Oh, those are tough. Those, this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be a hard one. Without the scrappy, without the dries, you're gonna have to be like going up normally, which is gonna be costing you a lot more mana. So I think maybe. Hmm. Vampire Priestess might have to find a way to squeeze in here. I'm so... Oh, I failed you all. Don't worry. I know I failed you all. Look what we put in here after this. Oh. Watch. I failed you. I'm not going to spoil it until we win or lose this. I'll show you guys something. Oh, my gosh. How did that just hit? Yo, that just... That was a misplay. That should have been over on the tile. We should have had that on the tile. Oh, my gosh. I know exactly what we're doing, bro. Okay, this... Eventually, his deck loses. If we can just somehow build up a nice, decent field. We don't have a single tier three hunter. We're struggling to get one, too. There we go. We also need some sharp, some higher tier sharpshooters. Guys, I was gonna say, Magic Culture needs to be in this deck. You can lose Cold Mage. Cold Mage is the wiggle card right now. From what I'm seeing, we can take Cold Mage out. We can put in Magic Culture, and that's exactly what we're gonna do after this. We, you can even Cold Mage. You're not gonna want to take Rogue out. You're not gonna want to take out Rogue because Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter and Hunter are like attacking at, you know, they attack at random. Like, so you, you're gonna need somebody that can hit the, just hit the front. You're gonna need that. So that's why I don't know if you can get rid of him, but let's see, we got Tribunal coming. Oh, okay, okay, You know what, I'm gonna merge. Merge. God, I'm telling you, yo, Rogue is the key to this free-to-play victory. Well, can't be because you gotta be whaling for it to get the most out of Rogue. <laughs> Imagine you have to be a whale to get the most out of a free-to-play card. Crazy, I know. All right, boost of Cold Mage. We're actually not doing bad. I don't expect to win this one because I do think we need that cauldron in here because with the talents, oh, you guys are gonna see something. Look at this. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna do that. Probably big misplay right there. Probably should have did it to you first. This is lost tribunal. Crud, it's a tribunal and we're murdered and we're and we're using mana. Hmm. We're gonna get a big hit here. And he hasn't even started to lose yet. He needs. I don't know if we can. I don't know if Cold made. I don't know if we have enough stall to last. But if we do, we will outlast this deck. It's crazy, but we will outlast his deck if we can just survive. The Tribunal hit, not something we even wanted to see for a second. I'm gonna go for Emerge and see what we get. We're gonna get the kill. My Cold Mage is pretty hefty. Pump all your gold farming into these free-to-play cards. Cold, first of all, Cold Mage bomb. If, yo, those better be high, high levels. There we go, Hunter. Sharpshooter is key to our victory as well, but it's like we can't see him. We can't see him. Sharpshooter stalling the opponent is key to winning this match. There we go, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, this is tough here. Because he has another waiver too before he starts to, you're gonna start seeing the dwindling when he starts seeing the vortex, the vortex, the banner lords. That's what his deck is. The double ones, too. Okay, we're not doing too bad, yo. We're not doing too bad. I'm gonna go up. Okay, two changes. Cauldron's coming in here for... 
One change. We'll do one change. <laughs> Yo, okay. Colton's coming in here. Let's go. We're okay. We haven't lost yet. And we're actually pretty... We got another... 4.5 on a tamer. This could be something. I think we got another wave in us, maybe. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. That's not a good thing. That's not a good sight. That, yeah, that's not a good sight. But I think with Cold Mage um, and Sharpshooter, we should be able to kill this. Might get the hero ability again. I'll use it if I have to. We're not going to lose right here. You crazy? Even though I actually want to I, I want to lose to get this match over because I want to use... I think Magic Cauldron, the mana constantly, the splash damage constantly, the stun. Remember, it's also stunning, so that's another reason why we can swap it out for the Cold Mage. So we're definitely gonna swap it out. I'm dropping this right here. I'm dropping this right here. I'm not playing with these guys right here. What are we playing with? Come on now. There we go. Let's do a drop. Another Cold Mage. Okay, I like that. I like how that's going down. Oh, come on. Don't let us take two. Don't let us take two! Oh my gosh! Oh my! Okay, hopefully we're <clears throat> we're only taking two. Okay, we're only taking two. Yikes! That was not good. That was not good. So with magic culture giving us slow as well, I'm okay with swapping it out. I'm okay with swapping out cold mage, even though cold mage is giving us that. That. The projectile and also the insta kill, the slow. Cold Mage is giving us a lot. I'm wondering if we can lose. Because the deck is not one of those decks where you're gonna be trying to like outdo even a bedlam or anything. So I'm wondering if we can even lose bomb. I think I might keep Cold Mage, take bomb out. Yeah, we gotta try it with Cold. We gotta try it with Cauldron. We gotta try it with Cauldron. It's ne it's needed. It's needed. How do I have three health? Wait, we didn't take a damage a while ago? <laughs> I thought we took a damage a while ago. All right, good game, good game, good game. WCJ taste for the Shake and Bake Boys. All right, let's look at the stats and see. So, Hunter, he's, he's pushing out 17 million. When you're creating it, you gotta look at these. These things are important. You know who's doing what, who you can really get rid of. But, you know, bomb, pure support. I'm not really looking at bomb for damage. Sharpshooter might be able to wiggle him out, but his effect is too good. He's even doing more than a rogue. Okay, so honestly, all I'm going to take out is the bomb. Bomb's at the bottom. Bomb is just pure support. So we're going to take out bomb. We're going to put it magic, cauldron, right now. Here we go, baby. So let's do this. Boom. Boom. Oops. Let's go back. Also, we're gonna look at a meme. I haven't looked at one in a minute, yo. Like, Discord, send it in. Your meme could be, your meme could be like, you know? We could be looking at your meme right now and loving it and being like, oh my God. Memes, send them. Discord, like my Discord. This could be you as a star. Let's put in Magic Cauldron. Boom. Bomb. We're going to lose Bomb. We're going to lose Bomb. We're going to lose Bomb. Let's make sure we got everything else secured. So we got the slowing enemies. So the 600 damage and slowing enemies. Done. Rage Elixir. Obviously units go up 25%. This sh should change things. <sighs> I hope it spams up the deck enough. Priestess might be... Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go. I'll do this for you guys. Me, G-Man. All right, here we go. Here we go. Another Blade Dancer deck. The easiest deck to beat in the entire game, guys. Play Inquisitor and you beat this deck. <laughs> I don't understand why everybody's playing Blade Dancer. I'm, I'm honestly at a loss for words. That, that's going to do something for us. So that's why we put Culture in here, and it's also still giving us that slow. Rogue is gonna be for the front line. And of course, we're on to something. Yo, I'm gonna crack the code today, yo. What, the, what is the best free-to-play deck in the game? No legendaries. Before it was the Crystal Mancer deck, uh, but the devs made sure that's, no, no. I'll get that deck out of here. 
And we didn't mind because we hated 16 minute matches. But yo, we gotta find one again. We gotta find one again and even did a G man. Alright. Let's boost. I gotta boost Cauldron because you want it to be giving you that juicy eight and not four. Man, you don't want that. We don't want that. Much better than um thing. Now, Bedlam's coming. We can take a Bedlam flip. We want the Bedlam flip because you know what's good with the Bedlam flip? Every single time a Cauldron is summoned, even with the Bedlam, you get the splash, you get all of that, and yo, it stacks. I've killed some high tier Bedlams. Make sure you check out the deck, the Boris deck, because I made a Boris deck um, with Magic Cauldron that was insane. Beat dungeons with it. Like, yo, the deck goes hammy. So, okay, let's go up here. 26 seconds. I guess we can just stack some mana for 26 seconds. Like, I love Magic Cauldron. I um, use my Magic Dust, and then I used uh, 250 of the cores to try and get Bruiser, which was the biggest mistake I made because I could have unlocked the level 13 Cauldron. I think Cauldron is gonna change. Cauldron is so good right now. Bro, crazy. If I had one um, other Boris talent, there we go. Let's just do it like this. Like, this deck goes crazy. Now we're gonna just start, let's start boosting up some guys. Um, remember that, that. We definitely need more sharpshooters. I would love if that was a sharpshooter. Boost, boost. We only have a tier one of that. Another cold mage. Thanks, cold. But it's so much slow. Now, we have way more slow, okay? We have double the slow. So we got the cauldron slow and then we got the cold mage slow. We have a lot of slow. We might actually be actually able to outlast this guy now with this with this setup we have. We might be able to outlast him. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Might be able to outlast this guy. Let's just we can just get a, our field. Just gotta get our field set up nicely. The cold mages are a nice touch, but they're I needed so we needed something hitting the front because right now we basically have magic cauldrons on the front bait on the front line. All right, we're gonna boost cauldron. We need cauldron to be giving us max. Yo, if sorry, yo, if you're free to play and you're not enjoying this game, you should be enjoying the game the most because you have to find that deck. When you got everything, it's like I just know what the top decks are and I can play them out of the cards. Yo. If you don't have them, you gotta get them. <laughs> like the soldiers like this. <clears throat> Testing the garbagest of cards. But yo, now's a good time, trust me. Now's a good time. What am I gonna boost? Okay, max, boost. We got Gorgon coming. Okay, that's all, let's drop this. Gorgon's cooked. I think we got this guy beat, guys. I think so. I think we got this guy beat. Sharpshooters are perfect. Cauldron's giving us that mana. Let's stack a little bit of mana, then we're gonna merge out the cauldrons and see what we can get. I can't touch the sharpshooters yet. I can't touch them yet. They're super necessary right now. Okay, merge. There we go, but I also need magic cauldrons. I need magic cauldrons. I need magic cauldrons because they're gonna be what's doing like kind of like that come on now come on no cauldrons what's going on here there we go you need the cauldron to be like yo it works it's like magic cauldron is so good he's like vampire plague plague doctor he's an all-in-one your one-stop shop all right merge because right now we need space on this field. What can we merge? Sharpshooters, peace. Okay, we're able to get a sharpshooter. Yo, I'm just searching right now. You know what I'm searching for, we can't find it. And I don't know if I can merge anything else. Crap. Okay, let me see, let me see what happens here. All right, let me draw this to make sure we finish this guy before he powers us down. Like, <laughs> I'm like, you're not powering us, damn. Okay, you know what? I can. I'm gonna take a show and do that. 
Because now I just need field. And... There we go. We need the mana. I need that mana. We got the cold. Oh, we got Puppeteer again? Let me see. Where is that? Like, you can't even... Because the cauldrons are so important to the deck working. You need the cauldron. You need a fluent amount of cauldrons dropping. We're not getting any cauldrons, bro. No cauldrons. Oh, my gosh. Don't do us like that. Yo, look at Sharpshoot. Look at Hunters ripping through these. Oh, no, this isn't it. Our luck, man. Tier 5 cauldron? Tier 4? No, down. All we took out was Bomb. Honestly, that was a bad RNG. Oh my gosh, no, that was bad RNG. And, and, you know, we gotta get serious for this match. Where's the match? This match. Let's, let's drop. We got Bedlam coming up first. No cauldrons. Let's search for one. Let us search. Yeah, let us search. Let's start stacking the mana. Maybe it can be done with. Um, what's his name? Zealot, but oh my gosh, patience. Maybe we just gotta figure out the right combination here. Let's get these cauldrons out. Let me max cauldron right now. I bet you I'm the first person to make this guy work in PvP competitively. Gonna figure something out. We're gonna figure something out. Cause I hit 10k mana already. If I get him maxed out, Cauldron maxed. Get my field. <sighs> okay, let's start getting. Maybe we even need a support tower, but they killed your free to play support tower. So, but if you have grindstone, I mean, if you have um, you know, decent support, you can you can go with it. All right, twenty eight seconds. Also, got to get Zealot up there too. Let's see what happens, guys. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? But we got a lot of maxes to take care of. Okay, one, two, one, two. Cold Mage, we don't have to touch it for a while. Get it up there. Boom, bust, push, sell it up one more. Let's see if we can hit this. All right. It's faction blessing. You're not gonna have a faction blessing all the time. You need dry in here. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see if we can even win it with these conditions. Let's see if we can even win it with these conditions. Okay, that's what, that's what we need to see right now. Uh, okay, Zelly, max you out. Zelly, max you out. But how strong? How far strong does Zelda actually have to be to be like that card? Let's let's also see how far we need to push him. We got Puppeteer coming. I'm gonna go up with you. This is the last wave I wanna be spending like the mana on upgrades like that. Um Cauldron max. Have to max cauldron. We should have maxed that earlier. We have to max cauldron out. Nothing we can merge here but sharpshooters, but I need those right now for a thing. Oh no, we can merge out these tier one cauldrons. There we go. No sharpshooter isn't necessary right now. He is so underrated, but we're gonna make it work. We'll do a drop, see what we get. We get a cult, we get a zealot. But that's three zealots that are gonna go up. So let's just focus on taking down this puppeteer. Boost you. Let's focus on taking down the puppeteer. He is gonna move us, we don't care about that part. Let's see if we can take him down fast enough. We don't even have a tier three Zelsters yet. Holy. Okay, here we go. 226K, let's do a drop. Come on guys, don't let him take us down, man. 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sharpshooter, we can go. Tribunal's next. Sucks. Well, let's do the one drop. See what we got. Boom. Cold Mage. Which we kind of need. Kind of really need that Cold Mage for that. It's the kill. Sell it. But no, see, Zell doesn't have anything right now. So, nothing supporting him. I don't know if he's going to be able to, like, hold it down on his own. Let's slow this down real quick. See what happens. Hunter. You could lose Sharpshooter. No, you can't. Yo, you're free to play. You need all the little tricks in the book. Like, you can't give up the sharpshooter phasing on minis, stunning your opponent. Like, certain abilities you really, really need. You can't, like, give them up. Okay, let's see if we can slow this. See if we can do this here. You're going to need a support. If you're going to try this out, you're going to definitely need a support card. Of course, you'll have legendaries. Remember, I'm not using any legendaries in this book, If I, in this deck. If I had Hex, Knight Statue, they'd be in here and be a complete different story. Uh, I think it's gonna be game no matter what here. All right, good game, bro. <laughs> good game. Guys, I need to know down below, what is the best free to play deck? Let's look at the damage again. Hunter's on top. So it's second. Support at the bottom. We expect that. Hunter, you know, it's a shorter match, but. Okay. That says a lot. That says a lot. We're close to the level 15 of J. But guys, that's it, man. Free to play. What is it? I need to know down below. I'll catch you guys on the next. <laughs>